Hello everyone from the XPIC staff. We would like to tell you about this revolutionary peak, which is actually not just a peak, but much more. Let's say it's literally a remote control for your pickups, working through that powerful mysterious force that is magnetism. In other words, the XPIC and your pickups speak the same language. And what did they say? Who knows? But this gives it the ability to do things deemed impossible, such as play without touching the guitar, 20 centimeters away simply by slapping the magnetic fields. Furthermore, always acting through magnetic fields, but this time on the strings, it can be transformed into a passive ebow to obtain an infinite sustain even on out of scale notes. We have also created the additional guitar fretboard, printable and applicable to all guitar with 22 and 24 frets, because with the XPIC you will gain more than an octave of playable notes on each string. and all this with a single, small and handy object. What are you waiting for? Watch the tutorials and find out how many other things this wonder can do. And enter with us in a new sound dimension, because the future is here and now. Fifty years from now, after the Judgment Day, the machine took over and exterminated almost all of us. Small units of survivors, relentlessly, tried to find a method to fight. They were too powerful. Exactly as Elon Musk said, but we didn't listen to him. It was he, with the less remaining brilliant minds, who noticed that a triple eight could be exploded with higher frequencies at high intensity, causing the mechanic to resonate. This discovery brought on the battlefield infinite ranks of violinists, commanded by Colonel Yoyama and Marshals Garrett and Sterling, who took on many victories, but you know, the violinists are too fragile as incumbent. 
the only one capable of emitting those frequencies and our only line of defense at the time was Senator Kerry. But she could not do it all by herself. They tried to find a solution. Many high-level guitarists tried to do everything possible. Jeff Bezos and his staff were studying how to do this in his old Space Amazon laboratory, initially built to shoot packages directly to the people's home from space, and later closed for an accident with a guy who bought a washing machine. It is the shipping day. A washing meteor has destroyed half Los Angeles. In fact, here in my time, it's only called Jalas. Anyway, they understood that you could get a raid a squeaky sound, even with the electric guitar, playing with pieces of metal, with slides, with coins. But the sound produced was also made up of too much noise. It was so confusing and dirty because by raising the gain, the noise of the rubbing on the string was also amplified exponentially with outclassing the tone, since one was forced to press on the string. Almost all hope was lost, when one day, a stranger created the x pick. It said that he was an alien who came to help us from the mass future of the future in the future. He came from such a future, so future, that the word future was not yet fully formed. Basically, he came from the few. Be that as it may, we finally had our latest sweep. From that moment, the world changed radically. The magnetic force of the x by rubbing it gently on the string without pressing, was able to attract the string to itself and to make it vibrate at the maximum amplitude to have the most ringing sound and perfect as possible. Its inventor from the few explained us that the magnetism for the x peak is the analog of the resin for the bow of a violin. And it was all through. If you try to play the violin without the resin on the bow, it will only produce noise because the string will vibrate very little. And it was the same comparison between normal metals and the magnetic speak. This invention was capable of transforming an electric guitar practically into an atomic magnetic cannon for high frequencies. And this proved all the most badass guitarists to the top of the armies. The government contracted Marshall, Fender and Vox to build the greatest walls of sound never seen before under the supervision of Admiral Renzo Piano and hired the highest authorities in the sector. In fact, Major Vey and Colonels Satoriani and Moore were in charge of the attack strategy together with the new President of the United States, Tommy Emanuel. The bass players found their place in battle on the front line, because we noticed that the machines could be weakened by low passed frequencies before the final hits of the guitarists. These units took the name of Attack Slappers, with their commanders Pilichowski, Wooten, Bertolt and 504, but we will see it better in second part. The new promises of guitar that you follow on YouTube today, and specifically the do Paul Davis, Rob Scadlow, Samurai Guitarist, Tyler Larson and many others, became the heroes of humanity and the undisputed masters of these new XP techniques. 
Their troops wiped out more than half of the machine armies in a few months. Subscribe now to this and their channels because one day these guys will save your life. We're creating various tutorials to train the new guitar troops and what you're about to see is the last survivor of those tutorials which we have recovered in VHS and sent back in time so that you can all learn how to fight with the XP. Hey man, what the hell are you talking about? Who are you? Who let you in? You've been talking for half an hour and you just say b****. Now shut up, please. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hello everyone from the XPIC staff. In this tutorial, we'll introduce four of the outstanding techniques of this innovative pick. Electric violin, octaver, slide and tap pick. Also going into detail on what happens when we use this object at an electromagnetic, magnetic and acoustic level. Let's start by remembering that every sound that came out of your guitar or bass is the result of a set of electronic processes designed to modulate the electromagnetic fields of the pickups of your instrument, based on the vibration given to the strings. So, Essentially, this is translated in, if I modify or interrupt an electromagnetic field while strings vibrate, I obtain a parallel modification of my output sound. And of course, we all know that getting this modulation is possible in variety of ways, including your amps EQ, gain, guitar knobs, pick up the string spacing, effects pedals, software adjustment, and more. But there are also two other methods, which are more analog. The electromagnetic interaction, making a string vibrate through electromagnetic fields, a technique that was introduced by D. Bow to obtain a violin-style sound with an exceptional fading, which gives you softness. And then there is magnetic interaction, which is the one that uses the X-Pick. There is the interactions between iron strings and or electromagnetic fields of the instrument's pickups with the magnetic ones of the pick itself. In this tutorial we will see the interaction between pick and strings, while in the next we will talk about the interaction with electromagnetic pickups, in other words with the X-Pick. We get a different sound for each position and interaction between the pick and the pickups of the instrument or with the strings. And this opens up a new world of creativity available to the artist. Because being able to change the electromagnetic field in real time when it comes to electric instruments means having total control. Guys, remember that the more time you waste setting up the instrumentation, the more you will benefit from it in the final sound and above all in the cleanliness of the sound. To begin, it would be advisable to bring the treble pickup as close as possible to the strings and move the rhythm pickup away. And this is because for this type of technique we mainly use the treble pickup but also to dampen the attraction that the right pickup has with the X-Pick in order to obtain a more homogeneous sliding on the strings in the notes right above that pickup. Furthermore, we have created and made available in the description, freely downloadable, the continuum of the guitar fretboard, printable and applicable on all guitars with 22 and 24 frets. It's logical that each guitar has different octave settings, so it will not be precise to the millimeter, but we will certainly have a few more references to start understanding where the notes are over there. Because guys, with this pick you will gain more than octave on each string of playable notes. No, no, please, make me repeat. Here we go. With this pick you will gain more than one octave on each string of playable notes. Okay, happy? Now shut up. And therefore, print it on an A4 sheet without retouching the dimensions and without automatic adaptations. You have to carefully cut out 
use small strips of adhesive or double side tape and stick it first on the wooden space after the last fret in this way and then spreading it also on the treble pickup. Note that we'll never be able to make the note sound right above the treble pickup because the piece of string that will have to vibrate is too short and you will only hear confusion or magnetic fields due to too much proximity. In addition, two words should be devoted to choosing the best strings to maximize this type of effects. All types of strings are fine, but if you want to get the most out of it, you should opt for the three thin strings E, B, G, a mixture of highly reactive material to magnetic fields. From our numerous tests, we have noticed a particular emphasis of these effects using cobalt strings, but the classic nickel strings are also fine. And as for the thickness, just remember that the string vibrates better if it's thinner, it's real, but if it's thicker, it sounds louder, so it just depends on your style. Instead, speaking of the three less strings, D, A, E, it will be advisable to opt for strings that are not overly thick in the amateur and is always to try to help the execution dampening the magnetic attraction with the x peak. Ok, let's analyze how to proceed to obtain this infinite and soaring in sound. When using the x peak and in particular with this type of techniques, the more you press on the string, the more it will not play. In fact, it's quite the opposite. When I approach the string with the side part of the peak, the string will be affected by the magnetism, so you should not press it, but rub it as gently as possible, letting the magnetic fields act, which will attract the string and make it vibrate automatically. As you have just heard, another wonderful thing that you will be able to do is also create a wonderful fade in or fade out in the note, based on movement and pressure exerted, making a small circle with a peak on the string. You have to make the magnetic fields act, exactly like the bow of a violin. For the construction of the sound you heard, and to be able to make the most of violin style dynamics, we use a little compressor, very little distortion as you can see. Similarly cues both on the virtual amplifier output and the effect chain, always with open eyes and few lows to limit background noise. We also use a gate which perfectly combines with the magnetism of the peak just to create the fade in or fade out. Chorus delay and reverb according to your tastes. If, on the other hand, you want to sacrifice dynamics a little for a brighter and more powerful sound, turn up the gain and presence in this way. But remember that the more gain you put into it, the more you will have to limit the rubbing on the string to have a clean sound. Hello? Oh, Liv, how are you? Uh, guys, uh, excuse me a minute. How is your dad? Nice. I'm here in studio, San Francisco. Ah, okay, he's gone. But we keep going. And so we were saying, by raising the gain, prisons and high frequencies, you will be able to use your weapon at maximum power. Guys, in order for the sound to continue indefinitely, the string must practically resonate, but the movement must always be present and as limited as possible if you want to get a clean sound. And so in this way, we have seen how it's possible to use the peak to have the sound of an atomic electric violin and save the future of the entire 
human race. Hey, you again. Stop it and go f yourself out of here now. But now. Okay. So, sorry for the interruption. We were saying that it is also possible to use the X-Speak as an octave. When we slide on the string, it's not we who will have to follow the string, but it will be the pick itself, thanks to its manities. We just have to accompany it to the decider note. It's obviously possible to use it as a slide with the right hand, finally leaving the left free to put chords. And this is also one of the reasons that give the futuristic shape of this pick. Because from the rounded side part, it's possible to be able to take three strings simultaneously. With the back of the pick you can take two strings, while with the side scat it's possible to take them individually. To be much more precise when playing with these techniques when performing whole scales with passages on all the strings to avoid obstructions in the passages. And it's also wide enough to allow it to be rubbed on the tone to be played for the violin effect so as to be able to mix the two techniques. Talking about the attack of this pick, if we were to make a scale of the intensity of the attack of all the picks in the world, we will find the X-Pick both on the side with greater intensity and on the other with lower intensity. How is this possible? Why does the X-Pick have the attack with greater intensity? Each pick of ferrous material has a very powerful attack. But when you bring the X-Pick close to the string, magnetism will be activated, which will attract the, the string to the pick, adding to your strength. It's for this reason that the attack of this pick is so powerful that it must be controlled. In sense, if you are playing in the key of E, it's useful to learn to pick in the same key or in scale to avoid dissonances and for an extra embellishment. And why does the X pick also have the lower intensity attack? Because thanks to magnetic fields, you can play a note or a chord without the presence of an attack that is without touching the guitar, basically just slapping the electromagnetic fields of the pickup with the magnetic fields of the pick, while you put the chords or a scale and make the strings vibrate. but we will see better in the next tutorial. There remains the last technique to examine in this tutorial, which is the tapping with the pick, or tapping. Everything remains the same at the level of settings, even if it's easier to get ringing sounds, because in this case we are going to tap on the string. And there is less strike with the pick in the position on the desired note. Be careful too you must not press on fret like vikings, but always and only gently place the pick, because I remind you that he will attract himself the string and produce the sound. And this will allow you to perform the wildest and most acute tappings ever heard. 
and the best things actually is to mix these techniques each other and with your usual techniques. If we can express a personal thought, that speak really has exaggerated potential. Like all new ideas, it can still be improved and perfected, but to do this, we need you and your advices. And yes, we are old school too, but we are also open to experimenting new things, new techniques, new approaches, always in strict compliance with good music, and not all that sh** that is on radio and TV these days. Guys, the possible techniques with this object are so many that we had to create a second part. In this tutorial we have seen the techniques between the X pick and the strings. In the next we will see the possible interaction between the X pick and the pickups of your instrument. So stay tuned and see you next time. What is happening? Oh no! They are already here! I told you! Okay, okay. Let's take Dex pick. Hurry up! To my signal! Who united? In sequence! Three, two, one! Whoa, it's minor, man! Excuse me, sir! And now the final move! No man, now you have to tell me, in your whole life, when have you heard someone killed with a major? I mean, in movie soundtracks too, when? Uh, you're right sir, uh, excuse me sir. I mean, uh, do you understand, not, not only does it not work, it's illegal to kill someone in major. Come on, what a rookie. The first, who plays entirely Maruni by Pink Floyd, with the spec, will take my place in command of the Resistance. There was a great meeting in my time in which the fate of humanity was decided. It immediately became known as g Mani, which was attended by the strongest musicians still alive. Together with President Emmanuel, Bill Jobs also moderated the session, an AE made up of both well-known geniuses who made peace and decided to merge their consciences and society when they died. Elon Musk managed the transition and thanks to his strong irony, he inserted them into Sophia the Robot, who is precisely known today as the CEO of Appleft. On one side, there were the sacred pillars of music such as Eric Clapton, Brian May, Lee Ritenoir, Pat Matini, Victor Wooten, Flea and many others. On the other side, all the greatest guitar and bass YouTubers of all times. Because you must know that in my time, there is no other way of mass communication, YouTube only. The machines destroyed any means of coordination 
but they never managed to compromise YouTube, thanks to the immense firewalls and infinite Google servers located all over the world. In fact, in the future, you will only be able to communicate by uploading videos with your Apple of your phone, but maybe this I should not have told you. Anyway, the main topic of this summit was the XP. How to use it, when to use it, supplies for the troops. But the biggest challenge of this meeting was to convince the best players to use this pick. Because lepers, you know, are known to hate this kind of thing. They just want to slap everyone and everything, always. But the reason we had to be able to convince them was too important. Once again, the alien inventor of the X-Pick intervened. I don't know if I told you that it comes from a future, but so hyper futuristic super extra badass future that if this is the ring of the time and we are here in the present, he comes from the other side of the ring where the future joins the past again. Basically, he comes from the past too. Anyway, he explained to everyone that it was possible to weaken the machines even with passive low frequencies using the axe pick without touching the bass or the guitar with the pick, practically slapping the electromagnetic fields of the pickups of the instrument with the magnetic fields of the axe pick, and he gave a demonstration to everyone present. He said that it was only necessary to put the chord or a note, making the strings vibrate, and control the normal picking slapping the magnetic fields. Great was the amazement of all the slapper bassists, who understood that they could continue to slap something even with the pick. Almost all of them immediately joined the cause. Only one remained on the sidelines, the one who would become the great commander 504 of the attack slappers. He was not very convincing, and he kept showing his Italian gestures. And while he was reflecting on what to do, the do provoked him by exclaiming in a loud voice, What happens, 504? Don't you like to slap things anymore? In a second, without even thinking about it, 504 ran up against him to try to slap him. But he could, because as we all know, Dudu never had a head. And then he began to respect him, because he was the only person in the world who could not slap. They became great battle friends, and they started making tutorials for attack slappers too, both guitarists and bassists. And their battle cry was, Slapping till the dead. <laughs> what the f***? No, I don't believe it. What are you still doing here? Uh, hello, sir. Excuse me, sir. I was telling about the heroic deeds of our musicians. In the future. Uh, in the future. But what happens to my voice? You don't be so fat now, huh? No, please, give me my voice again. Uh, shut up, idiot. And why we are always with this crap television? You know something about this? No, I have nothing to do with it. But why I'm talking to you? Hello everyone from the x Big staff. Today we are here to tell you about the most captivating and fun techniques of this revolutionary pick. We can divide them into two main categories. Hyper category, which includes picking, wa, and delay techniques. And then the magnetic field category, where we find tremolo, reverse, whistle control and many others. 
they have this deviation because in the case of hypertechnics, we slap the magnetic fields from the outside of the magnetic bubble of the pickups, while in the magnetic field techniques, we introduce ourselves into the magnetic field and modulate it from the inside. Guys, we know that there are a lot of words in these tutorials, but as this is the first time using techniques like this, we need to explain it in detail before we leave for the world. So, in the previous video, we say that the X-Peak interacts through its magnetic fields with the electromagnetic fields emanating from the pickups of your guitar or bass. But how? The X-Peak has an axial magnetization which has the two polarities above and below the magnet to be able to work on any type of pickup. Perfectly rounded sides to also work as a slide and a tip with 60 degrees of amplitude. There are no other magnets in the world with these characteristics and a lot of research has been done to achieve this patent. In this way, you can interact in the electromagnetic field of the pickups only through the tip of the pick having the power of a neodymium magnet but all concentrated on the small size of the tip. And all of this will allow you to have better control over the distance to have for a correct interaction and a great cleanliness of the sound. These techniques are really fantastic and very scenic and if you want to leave everyone speechless, just follow the steps. You do not cause the strings to vibrate through the peak, but through the left hand. The main method to achieve this is to press the first note a little harder in order to make the string vibrate a little and subsequently or simultaneously control the peaking, intensity and volume with the magnetic field of the X-Peak. It's not necessary to press hard hold the notes or charts with the left hand, because the sensitivity of the pickups is so high that only the vibration of the note change in the scale or of the chords will be enough. At the sound level, it will feel like you are hitting the guitar with the pick, when in reality you are 20 cm away just slapping the magnetic fields. It's advisable, at least initially, to have something that plugs the strings, even a rubber band is fine. In this way, you will prevent involuntary sounds. When performing these techniques, always remember to slap exactly in the direction of the pickup you are using. As for the position of the pick in the end, it's important to hold the X-Pick exactly like a normal pick to perform these techniques at the distance there is with the tip facing the strings, because you will have much cleaner sound, more mastery of magnetic field, and you can easily mix these techniques with normal ones, having the pick always in the correct position. To adjust the distance to have from the pickup, just listen the output sound. Start slapping immediately above the pickup and slowly move away or approach until you hear a nice detached and clean sound. If we are making a scale in hyper-picking, it's not necessary to have the pick exactly in correspondence with the string of the note played, as if using a normal pick. Just always be at the right distance from the pickup, in the middle position, and it will sound the same. It's quite obvious to understand that the most suitable complementary techniques is the legato, but being able to also combine facets such as sliding on the strings, bending and more will contribute to a perfect execution. For this technique, it's possible to use any pickup without distinction. It will be up to you to choose the one that best suits your sounds and adjust the distance with the strings to have more or less magnetic interaction. Guys, start with simple things, for example, learning to use the picking on downbeat. Then move on to picking downbeat and upbeat. Maybe you start making trails. 
the first hit you gave it with the note of the left hand and the others with X pick. <laughs> Obviously, all this talk is also addressed to Bass's friends. Hear this wonderful sound opening. Everything we have said is also valid for chords. Press the first chord a little harder and then continue playing normal. Just to do a little exercise and it will come spontaneously. Another jam it's also possible to scratch remotely on the guitar to simulate the permuting embellishments. These techniques are extremely fun and scenic as the hair guitar. In fact, from this moment on, we are the ones who can cope in their madness, still continuing to play for real. But beyond this, there is a truly innovative and exciting aspect. But let's analyze this new mechanic in detail. If we slow down the movements, when I move the X peak on the pickups, we notice that in reality the electromagnetic field gradually reaches zero very quickly. Then it reactivates immediately after I move away, and all of this in hundredth of a second. So, in other words, it's like you're always speaking upbeat, not downbeat. Yes, it's absurd to think so, but it's true. And in fact, the speed with which the magnetic fields act is so high that it gives us the sensation of a normal picking on the downbeat. And this is what gives this technique its name, precisely the hyper speed of reaction of the magnetic fields. To understand it better, let's look at it in editing. This is a single chord in slow hyper picking. Using the x pick we can see that the sequence is sound, not sound, sound, which allows us to pick without the need for an attack. Usually, when you proceed with the mixing and mastering of the tracks, one of the biggest and longest jobs to do is the adjustment of the attacks of the instruments, because there are songs in which the attack is only annoying. You really waste a lot of time doing what the x pick does in natural and analog way, and we all know that doing it first in analog is always better than doing it later using the software. In fact, if you show this to your sound engineer, be careful, because he may start crying. Furthermore, as you saw in the previous video, the fact of not having an attack gives us the possibility to control the timing of the sound like an electronic processor, in order to have the mass control and modifiable delay that exists. Because in this way we can accelerate it, slow it down, syncopate it, alternate it, without even having to adapt to the standard type of delay sounds, because it will work with any sound we want. Another spectacular thing, which we have only recently realized, is that we can compare this pick even to a wah pedal. When I press the pedal, I open the tones, when I leave, it closes them. 
In fact, these pedals were invented in the 60s just to avoid turning the knobs on the guitar and be faster and more comfortable, right? Ok, we are in 2022. Let's make it even more comfortable. Just set an auto wah style effect, or with a nice gate, and you can control the wah without the pedal. It's amazing and comfortable, isn't it? Unlike the settings discussed for the string sliding techniques in the first tutorial, these techniques can be used on any type of sound configuration, ranging from clean to distorted and embracing all musical genres. The rule to always keep in mind is that the more gain or presence I insert into the effect, the more I will need to be away from the pickup to have a clean and detached sound. There are also many other effects that can be achieved with this pick, but they have a slightly different mechanics because in this case the electromagnetic field is not slept from the outside, but we insert ourselves inside it and modulate it. Put simply, we position the pick near the shoes and pickup so as to be inside its electromagnetic bubble. It's possible to hold it in any position, but it's always better to learn to do it with the tip facing the strings for the reason above mentioned. At this point, as with the previous techniques, we plug the chord or the single note and simultaneously we begin to move or tremble. In this way it's possible to create the tremolo, which simulates a guitar lever. Excellent, especially for those guitars that don't have the lever. It's also possible to create a reverse effect on single notes or on chords. Also explore the experimental side. You know when the guitar is brought close to the amplifier to make a scream? With the XPIC you can create, comment or modify that whistle. Brushes effect only through magnetic field interaction. Approach a pickup with very little gain or presence and create the right by moving on one string, and you can make the rolls passing all the strings. Guys, first of all, it's really fun. And this is exactly what initially prompted each of us to play our instrument. But then, over time, we got a bit lost in getting better and better on the guitar or bass. 
and the XPIC brings us back to the beginning, when everything was a discovery. Works with any type of guitar pickup, any type of bass. If you have an organ with pickups, or if you have a steel guitar, it should work. There are many techniques to discover, because each of you has different setups involving different types of magnetic fields, different pickups, different amps, different pedal boards, different software. And this means that for every slightest change in magnetic field, there is a different response with XP. Got that? Which is now all in the hands of your personal style. Everything you have seen is only the result of our creativity and our equipment. In fact, for this reason, if you manage to be creative enough to invent other new techniques with XPIC, we will insert them with your name in the official techniques. Remember that XPIC is not a pick, even if it has the shape of it. It's not a sound. It doesn't have a sound. The XPIC is more fantasy at your disposal. In reality, it cannot be compared to anything else known, because the XPIC is only the XPIC. And I know, I say too many times XPIC. Uh, XPIC, yes, XPIC. Sorry, XPIC. We would like to conclude with the words of a beautiful comment that a user left us, which seems more like a prophecy. Sooner or later, someone will take this object and he will play something never heard before. And we can wait. And as always, stay tuned. And if you make demonstration videos of some techniques of entire songs played with the XPIC, give us a whistle and we'll help you with the positioning and visibility of your videos. Creativity must always be rewarded. The first who will be able to play. <laughs> Should I be bad? It's not right. Give me back the voice. No. Please, I'm John Connor. John Connor. No, you're just a poor a I want my voice. No. Give me back my voice. No. Please. No. I beg you. No. I want my best voice. No. Thank you for watching and please support the project and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, it doesn't give me back my voice. Please, please,
don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just 